Hi, I'm Andy Parker, and this is Faith in Action, a web-exclusive interview just for you. You'll be encouraged and inspired by these stories of unwavering faith. Today, I visited with internationally known author, speaker, licensed therapist, and sex addiction expert, Dr. Doug Wise. He shared his stories of triumph and healing. Find out how the Lord is using him now in today's Faith in Action. Dr. Wise, can you tell me just a little bit about your childhood growing up? Well, I can tell you the testimony that Christ decided to give to me. I mean, I was conceived in adultery. That was not exactly a good start. Uh, that ended my mom's marriage and divorce. The guy who got her pregnant abandoned her. So she married a third guy she met in a bar. His last name was Weiss. Okay, so I'm not even born and I got a story, right? Wow. And so then they were married for a little while. They had three more daughters and they got divorced because he was an alcoholic. You know, imagine finding an alcoholic in a bar, right? Okay, what so what chances, yeah. And so then, then I was put in foster homes. I was in several foster homes for a while. And then my mom took me out of foster homes and then she had another guy living with her who eventually became my stepdad. And uh, that kind of, so then that happened and I was introduced to uh, sexual material. I was sexually abused, you know, and that happened. And then I was totally out of control during my adolescence, uh, sexually addicted, alcohol, drugs, all that kind of stuff. And then Jesus was good to me and he brought me back to himself and uh, been walking with him for 20, I don't know, 27 years now. Wow, now how did that come about? Well, you know, I, I saw, actually Christian television was a part of that. I saw, you know, uh, you know, uh, a show where I gave my heart to Christ and I went out to an altar one night. There was no preaching, no service, and I gave my heart there. And that's really where he became Lord of my life. And uh, from that point, I was in Bible school 30 days after that. I mean, it was radical. I mean, it was, he totally saved me. Wow, now did you have some kind of a rock bottom kind of moment? Well, for me, the moment was, well, I was really wanting to commit suicide, so I was, I was, you know, I was about 19 years old. I was making lots of money. I was uh, being inappropriate with several women, drugs, all that stuff, and I was smart enough to go, you know, I don't want to do this for the rest of my life. This doesn't sound bright, so I might as well just end that. So I went down to an altar and I said, "Okay, God, I, I Jesus, I know you're Lord. I'm going to make you Lord of my life. I'll do 100% of what you tell me to do in the next 30 days. If my life's not different, I will then kill myself then." See, when you meet Jesus like that, okay, it's a serious deal. And we had a deal. I would do 100% of what he told me to do. I think that's how I got the sex job in the church. And, uh, and, and so he put me in Bible school, seminary, you know, all that kind of stuff. Wow. So the recovery process started right there. Well, the alcohol and drugs did. The sexual addiction stayed for, all the way through Bible college, okay? I wasn't delivered from that. That was a healing process I had to walk through. And when I got to seminary, I started getting accountable because there were no books on sex addiction back then. There were no groups, there were no, no materials whatsoever. You were alone back then. Okay. And so I was alone and trying very hard, fasting, praying, reading, and doing all this kind of stuff. But once I start getting accountable, it's when I start breaking off my life. And I've been sober for over 21 years now. Okay, no behaviors with self, pornography, others, any of that. Okay, God's very good if we work the principles that He has in His Word for us to walk that out in. Wow, and so now you have taken that and turned it around to help others. Oh, we've been helping others. We've been counseling people for now uh, over 20 years. We have a heart heart counseling center in Colorado Springs. We do three-day intensives. People fly in. Uh, we have a huge website. We've got uh, counselors who do telephone counseling with people all over the world, uh, telephone groups, all kinds of stuff. Yeah, we've been, uh, we started in 1993 when we wrote our first book. And we were on Phil Donahue and we'd have been Oprah. We've, we've had two movies made about our practice. and all that kind of stuff. So there's been supernatural favor on our lives to heal the brokenhearted, especially those who are sexually broken. And so we do conferences and media and it's a blast. Wow, and really with as much as we see in the media, I mean, it's just everywhere you turn. So there's just more and more people out there that are needing help. Well, you know, I'm a psychologist, but I have job security because the, the culture is moving to a sexually addicted culture. You know, and, and in my lifetime, we've seen it really switch from a moral-based culture to a sexually addicted culture. How much more can we show? How much more can we say? How much more can we do? How more? Cre and, and now we have the internet, the, you know, the mother of pornography, uh, right on cell phones and right in, in mainstream television uh, opportunities, people can get that stuff. It's a very sad uh, day that our culture is moving in that direction. So unfortunately, there is a big need. 50% of the church, Andy, uh, the men in the church are sexually addicted. Okay, not, not struggling, addicted, okay? I mean, if just the church would stop using pornography, it would take a hit, okay? And so this is a serious epidemic that the church is having, and God is, mm -hmm. I know he's raised uh, us up and other people up all around the country and world to start being the antibody for the body of Christ. There are, there are antibodies in the body. There are men who want to lead support groups who are men who are already doing that. 
and the antibodies in the body and it's starting to make progress. And really, you help people beyond sex too, right? Oh yeah, marriage we do marriage, we've written three marriage books, we do regular marriage counseling, stuff like that, and uh, we have a book called The Power Pleasures, how to, how to Have a Great Life, you know, and so we've done several other things other than sexual addiction, but that's our mm -hmm. primary, uh, the primary thing God does with us is puts us in situations where people can get set free sexually. Well, and I'm just guessing, but I would imagine that a lot of the problems then come back around to sex somehow. They can. I mean, you can have a, you can have a good sex life and, and, and have bad marriage. It, that's rare, but usually if you have a bad marriage, it's going to go the other way. Uh, but the marriage stuff is good for people to understand how to connect spiritually and emotionally, how to deal with their money, how to keep dating their spouse, basic principles that if we utilize, we can have a healthier marriage. Mm -hmm. And it applies to anybody, any Anybody, age. anywhere, it's great stuff. Yeah, definitely. That's wonderful. What, what would you say to somebody right now who's battling a sexual addiction or their loved ones? Well, I would say that if you are battling sexual addiction, I know where you are. I've been there. I've cried those tears. That God's with you. He loves you. And that if you will reach out and get accountable, maybe get some materials and get some help, you can have a happily ever after. I mean, there's hope. I mean, just because you have this doesn't mean that you're hopeless. You feel hopeless because you tried only by yourself to be successful. If you start getting a team of people, you can start being successful. Definitely. Yeah, it's, it's too much for one person. Well, and it helps us to grow in humility and other characteristics that Jesus wants to have in our life. That's right. That's great. That's wonderful. I really appreciate you coming on here today. Well, thank you, Andy, and thank you for this. letting us share a story and hopefully somebody will be encouraged. Definitely. For more information on Dr. Wise, visit his website at drdougwise.com. And if you know of someone who has their own great story of faith in action, let us know. Call us, visit us on the web, or find us on Facebook or MySpace. We would love to hear your story.